Hi, my name is Angela Huffman. I'm a dealer and educator with the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning Center. Sometimes if you have a large border, you can kind of be in a quandary as far as what you put in it. And some piano keys or beadboard is a nice design. It goes real fast and it eats up if you have any fullness in that border. So let's take a look. I've got this space as if it were a large border and I have my extended base on my machine so that I can use the rulers safely and I have my ruler foot on. I'm just going to nudge up um, my ruler against the foot. I've made little tick marks every inch across the top and the bottom so that I can line this up and I'm just going to go down the edge of my ruler. I'm holding my ruler with my non-dominant hand. I'm going to come down the edge of that ruler, just a straight line, and then I'm going to move across the ditch until the edge of my hopping foot is up against the line that I just sewed, and I'm going to move my uh, ruler over onto that line I just sewed and head right back up so that it's a quarter of an inch away from the line that I just did. Sneak over the ditch and head to the next tick mark and move my ruler over, and now I'm going to head back down, go over a quarter of an inch, move my ruler over come back up and I'm just going to walk my way down my border and make this beadboard design. If you didn't do the double lines, you would have a piano key border. The double lines make it more into like a, a beadboard look. This is a good way if you have a lot of fullness in a quilt, this is a good way to kind of eat up fullness in a border. Um, you know, this is going to give us about a three quarter inch spacing. You could even increase this and make it more, make your tick marks more like an inch and a half or something and get your, um, get your beadboard spaced a little bit further apart. And just build this out. Straight line stitching, totally easy to do on a stand up, sit down. This is applicable to both, both domestic and long arm machines. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted. If you'd like more information about APQS machines, visit APQS.com and be sure to like us on our Facebook page. We'd love to have you join the conversation and we'd like to see what you're working on.